Welcome to Todd's Dungeon! <laughs> Everyone loves candy apples, but yeah, this is Halloween, so I'm going to spruce it up. So join me today as I make my version of black candy apples. <laughs> now to start this off, I have a pot on the stove on a medium to high heat. So to that I'm going to add in two cups of regular sugar, followed by three quarters of a cup of water and half a cup of glucose or corn syrup. Now in the past when I've used corn syrup, I've had people tell me that they can't find it. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link down below to my video on how to make your own at home. So just gently stir it over medium to high heat until the sugar is completely dissolved. And once it's dissolved, we're just going to bring it up to a boil. But keep it over a medium to high heat. Don't put it on a very high. We want to bring it up slowly. So next we're going to add in some black food coloring. So just add a few drops just until you get to the desired shade. And next using a wet brush, we're just going to brush down the sides just to get rid of that sugar there. And that's going to help prevent those nasty sugar crystals from forming on top of our syrup. So next we're going to use a thermometer and we want it to come to 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 150 degrees Celsius. So we want to get up to the hard crack stage. Now these candy thermometers are incredibly cheap. Just search online, find one, because they just make life so much easier. So just keep it on a medium heat. It's going to take about 10 minutes, give or take. Don't have it on a very high temperature. You want to bring it up slowly. That's the reason why most candy will fail, because you've brought it up to the temperature too fast. Okay, next we're going to use our apples. Now I'm going to use a green apple. You don't have to use a green apple, but personally I think it works out best. And I'm just going to use a chopstick. Basically any type of sticks will do. And we're just going to just carefully push it in until it gets to about three quarters of the way down and it's ready. So just continue on until you've done all your apples. Now we've just reached the hard crack stage. So working quickly with the apple, we're just going to turn the apple in our syrup just like that and let the excess just drip off. Then I have some baking paper that I've just quickly greased. And we're just going to place our candy apple onto that paper and just continue on until you've done all the apples. Now once you've done all your candy apples, just simply let them sit at room temperature for about an hour to harden up. And as for the pan, just simply soak it in water for a couple of hours and any remaining sugar will simply dissolve away into the water. Now there we have some very delicious, very scrumptious Halloween black candy apples. So they are most certainly a very easy treat to make and definitely a very effective one. And you can't go wrong by wrapping something that's completely healthy in a layer of sugar. And here's one of the other ones. So get a load of this sound. Oh, yum. That is crunchalicious. Now, I already like apples, but when you cover it in a lovely crunchy outer sugary shell like that, these black candy apples taste simply ghoulish. <laughs> so why stick with a plain old boring candy apples when you can spruce it up like this and make it taste fantastic. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Dungeon. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe. <laughs>